Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I'm here to bring you your channeled messages straight from spirit. I do not pull cards in this um, type of reading so if that is something that um, you enjoy then check out my other videos. Um, this will not resonate with everybody so if it doesn't make sure you check out your moon rising and Venus and as always this is for entertainment purposes only. So Saggies, let's get started. For the majority of you, you're seeing the number four. Four, 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 44. Um, this is Spirit's way of telling you that you are on the right path. You are on the path to finding harmony within the universe. For another group of you, it also means that you are on your spiritual path of awakening. For another group of you, it means to trust. Trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Because your intuition is on point. So, what I'm seeing for you guys is you're really looking to the past for answers. And Spirit is saying, you're not going to find them there. If you would have found them there, you would have found them when the past was the present. The only way you're going to find uh, answers to your questions is if you look within yourself. It's time to dig deep, go, go soul deep, and start finding the answers to your questions within. A group of you are in a relationship where you're confused, where you don't know where it's going. For a group of you, you this is somebody from your past that returned and you're giving it another chance. And I'm seeing that it, for some of you it's not going to work because you didn't heal from heartache from the first go around, from the struggles of the relationship the first time you were with them. You're holding on to the past. For another group of you, somebody is tied to you. Somebody is holding on to you and not letting go. They're bonded to you. They're, they're connected and they don't want to disconnect. For some of you, you're having like mental anguish, mental conflict, and it has to do with a Libra or a divorce or a divorce from a Libra. <laughs> At one point in time, this relationship served your highest good. It gave you the Ten of Cups. It gave you the Ten of Pentacles. But then things went wrong. So you have to let go. You have to let go of this person because you're only holding on to the memory of what they used to be, of what you used to have, and not facing the fact of what they're putting you through currently. For some of you, there's more than you. Like, um, they have more options. They're, they're juggling. But... I, their energy is very harsh. Their words are very harsh. They treat you with, they disrespect you. They, it's just not good. It's time to move forward. You need to cut somebody out of your life because divine timing is here. And somebody is coming back for you. This is a reunion for some of you with a different person from your past. But divine timing is here. For a group of you, you're dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, um, Virgo, or Taurus. They blocked you in the recent past. 
like the last couple months they haven't talked to you they haven't they blocked you on social media they're gonna contact you they're opening up communication they miss you if you're dealing with a Virgo they were going within they were healing they were healing themselves so they could figure out what it is they wanted and they are awakening to the realization that they want you some of them are still in relationships though some of them are bonded to somebody else like a, a spouse or a commitment they are realizing that they don't want that and they want you they are going to communicate with you about this this March within the next week probably you guys are going to move forward after you release your ex. I see a group of you traveling together here in the next couple months, going on like a mini vacation. I see a group of you getting together with this person and trying to make out a plan of action of how to get together, like how to come together in life. like. Because they're still tied to somebody I see. But they are getting out of that situation. And you guys are going to be making plans. Like of moving in together. And Right now your guys' finances may not be so hot. Or theirs isn't. But it's keeping you guys from coming together quicker. Because they fear their financial situation. And where they're at right now. They're comfortable. As in, like, it's, it's, I'm trying to think of what Spirit's trying to say here. They are going to step outside of their comfort zone. They're going to open up to you and reveal the truth to you. The truth of where they've been, where, what they've been up to why it took them this long to come to you they're going to open up this could be a virgo a libra aquarius taurus possibly leo they have a lot of guilt or shame around what they've done to you what they've put you through you saggies are also feeling guilty of something like you I feel this guilt but you guys are gonna really open up to each other you're gonna you're gonna become vulnerable and that's something you haven't done since they left you put up walls you put up Barricades. You did not let anybody in. Spirit's saying trust them. Give them the chance. Give them the opportunity to show them that they have changed. But open up your heart fully. You really... Sagittarius, you really have to let go of control issues. And I know that's hard for a Sagittarius because I am one. But you have to let go. You have to let the universe bring this in because the, your angels are at work. They're working hard. This person coming towards you is newly awakened. They're awakened to the connection, the... Um, the connection between the two of you. This is your destiny. You have to trust that spirit and angels know what they're doing. Because this is coming back for you. And divine timing is here. So Sagis overall, just keep the faith. Release your ex. Continue to heal. And know that what is meant for you is coming for you. 
with an abundance of love, joy, happiness, money, financial issues will no longer be an issue. Your dreams are going to start becoming a reality. So just keep keep the faith. That's what Spirit keeps saying. And within this next moon phase, uh, March 31st, um, reunions and unions are going to be coming together everywhere. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Spirit is saying that the angels will never lead you where you are not meant to be. So just let go and trust and everything that is meant for you will be coming. And it, for the majority of you, it will be coming by the end of March if you release your past. So release that X, heal, and have faith because it's coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, message from Spirit and I will be back next time. Sending you love and light and God bless.